I am going to read to you a devotional from this book that I think is really powerful and important. But God says, The word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Hebrews 4.12 Let me warn you, the words of God can't do much for you if all you do is scan them quickly and then check your social media. But if you read them slowly with your heart and mind open, as though they are written especially for you, like they are truth, because they are, and like they really mean what they say for you personally, because they do, then they will change your life. Below you'll see some of the biggest lies the world wants you to believe, and then after each one, I'll immediately share truth from the word that will knock the breath out of that lie. The world says, you're not valuable, nobody cares about you. But God's word says, look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Matthew 6, 26. The world says, you don't matter. But God's word says, since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. Isaiah 43, 4. The world says, you'll never amount to anything. There's just too much wrong with you. But God's word says, even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. Ephesians 1, 4. The world says, you'll never do anything right. But God's word says, now to him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask or think, according to the power that works within us. Ephesians 3.20 So wherever you are right now, speak the words of these verses. Say what God says, and don't sit there and just awkwardly mumble them. Claim them. These words will keep you grounded in how God thinks about you for the rest of your life. Keep them on your mind and in your heart. Return to them often, memorize them, think about them, and let them become the foundation of who you believe you are. Lord, as I read and study your word, I pray that you would show me who I really am and who you want me to be. Amen.